Guys, I'm so excited for today's video. I truly am. This is probably the best Fashion Nova package that I have gotten in ever. I literally spent hours on the Fashion Nova website picking the perfect pieces, not just picking them because they're cute, but picking them because I already had an outfit in mind. And I really think it paid off. If you guys follow me on Instagram or I've seen my YouTube shorts and I've even talked about it in previous videos, but I'm kind of experimenting with my style. I have went so long, not really having a style and picking pieces from different styles that don't work together, but I think is just cute by itself. So I'm kind of stuck with a closet of clothes that doesn't really work well together. And I'm just stuck wearing a crop top and jeans, which don't get me wrong. I'm still going to be wearing a crop top and jeans. I'm going to be wearing a crop top and jeans at age 80 probably, okay? That's never gonna change, but I kinda want it to mesh better together and I wanna add accessories and really have fun with it and just wear whatever makes me feel cute so I don't end up looking back and regretting not doing that. Like I said before, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably have seen that I've been having a lot more fun with my outfits and I don't know if it's because I'm going to Japan in less than a month, but it really has lit a fire under me. I don't know if that's the right saying, but I kind of have this massive motivation to go through my whole closet, put together outfits, look through mood boards, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I am so excited to get into these outfits. Let me know what you guys think, and if you think that I should add something or take something away, switch something up, I am open to constructive criticism, but remember, I am quite literally sensitive. I will cry at anything, so please be nice. And before we get started, you guys know the drill. Even though I was gifted these items from Fashion Nova, it does not mean in any way, shape, or form that I have to say anything positive about it if I don't mean it, so. Just keep that in mind. Just wanna be transparent with you guys as per usual. Now, before I go off into a tangent and just start yapping like I always do, let's get started. Usually we have some kind of structure with the order of the pieces that we'll be going through, but this time we're just going to be all over the place. Starting with the Hiding in the Shadow Mesh Teddy, a really mysterious name for this mesh bodysuit, but we'll go with it. I'm also wearing the Claire Solid Micro Mini Squirt from Fashion Nova as well. I am in love with this bodysuit. It's so comfy and flattering with the perfect amount of stretch so it doesn't feel uncomfortable. I've had quite a few mesh pieces that were they just didn't move and they don't budge and they're not the most ideal option for wearing out if you plan on i don't know existing something to note about this bodysuit is wherever the mesh is it is sheer and it is going to be see-through the cups are not lined so i had to put in my own bra insert so nothing slipped out or showed you know something that i don't want to show if you catch my drift but all in all i love this piece and paired with this squirt oh my god guys i have so many amazing things to say about this squirt I'm not sure what I'm packing fully to my trip to Japan yet, but I do know absolutely 110% that this is one of the pieces I'm bringing for sure. I am not exaggerating when I say, and I know there's some of you that can relate out there, it's so difficult to find a mini skirt that fits over the hips and the booty and it still covers it all. You know what I mean? This skirt has the perfect amount of stretch to it. And the fact that there are shorts underneath really is the icing on the cake. I'm wearing a size small. And even though I've had this piece for about two weeks, I've already formed so many outfits with it. I am absolutely obsessed and I'm so grateful that I found it and we'll be looking into getting the skirt in different colors. It'll be a bit chilly in Japan. So I will be bringing these fleece lined faux tights to style it with or long socks with the leg warmers combo. I've been really loving that lately. And the next piece in this haul is the Take the Heat bomber jacket. And I feel this really completes the first look. I usually don't do oversized things anymore because I learned that it's not too flattering on my body shape. So I did get this in an extra small and it fits exactly how I wanted it to. A bit baggy, but not too much to where it drowns me out and makes me look like a blob. And this is Kona being a very curious kitty and doing an amazing job at trying to distract me from filming. What? What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? And I'm sorry if you're sick of this already, but I have some bad news because we have one more piece to cover while wearing this getup and it's the Resilience Chrome hoodie. This wasn't advertised as being oversized, so I went with my normal size small and it's perfect. I really like the sleeve detailing and it goes amazing with the overall vibe of the outfit. I'm sure you have all seen or noticed little bits and pieces of the early 2000s fashion coming back and this Ed Hardy top is no exception. Fashion Nova has so many Ed Hardy tops right now 
and I wanted all of them, honestly. But I went with the white crop with the koi fish design. Everyone needs a staple white tank, and if it has a design like this, it makes it even better. This is the Ed Hardy koi fish tank. The name is quite literally what it is, so it makes it easier for you to find but I'm styling it with the main reason tie waist baggy jeans. The reason I picked these jeans was because I really liked the shoelace tie detail. I'm wearing a size three, and even though these are baggy, I don't feel like they're so baggy to the point where my booty disappears, so I appreciate that a lot. There are two notes I do have about these jeans though, and it's that they are pretty long. And that's rare for me to say when it comes to jeans because I'm 5'7". So usually I don't have an issue with jeans dragging on the floor, but these do a little bit. So if you're shorter than I am, definitely take that into account. Another thing is that on the model, they sat a little bit lower. So it does sit a little bit more mid waist than the lower fit I thought it was going to be. Again, I do feel like I have a shorter torso, so it could just be a knee issue. These next jeans also have a unique thing going on with them. The way that they're fastened and buttoned is what attracted them to me. I don't even know if I explained that right, but obviously you're watching the video. I think you can tell what I mean. But I will say, if I wanna wear a belt with these jeans, it might be difficult because of the tilted offset style that they have going on. These are the Cross Signals Acid Wash Jeans in a size three. And that's another thing that drew me to them is that they have this olive green hue to them. It might be hard to tell in this footage, but online the photos do show it way better. And in person, it does resemble the photos online. The fit of these jeans in comparison to the last is that they are a little bit more stiff. They do drown out the booty a bit, but not to the point where my booty's being squished and I can't like move at all. And the fit is also a little bit shorter. I feel like if I were to size up in these jeans, I'd still have the similar fit. I feel like it's just the material that these jeans are made from and sizing up isn't really going to fix any of that. Same thing goes for the previous jeans. If I tried to size up for a lower ice fit, the bottom of the jeans would be literally dragging like a foot behind me probably. These next two pieces I am completely wholeheartedly obsessed with and you guys are going to be so annoyed with me because, okay, I'm going to try to not say obsessed over and over, but it really gives me the Bratz Rock Angels vibe and not many of you will know what I'm talking about, but if you know, then you know you know? <laughs> Let's talk about the top first. This is the Into You Lace Top in a size medium. And I ordered a size bigger than usual because the reviews said it ran a bit small. But in all honesty, the stretch this top has is incredible. And it's very soft despite being a more affordable lace top. The asymmetrical fit is absolutely everything. And you can wear this top a bit off both of the shoulders or off one entirely, which is what I did here. I gravitated towards this top because it reminded me a lot of the tops I saw grown ups wear when I was a child. And this whole outfit is a bit of like a healing moment for my inner child because I remember growing up and wanting an outfit that looked almost exactly like this. And you'll see what I mean when I add the accessories in. This top can go with so many things, but I do wanna say the bralette I am wearing underneath does not come with the top. And it's a separate piece I had in my closet. So this long sleeve is completely sheer. So do keep that in mind. Since I sized up and trusted the reviews that weren't really correct in my opinion, I did have to tie this top up in the back a little bit just so it fit more properly. But I like this top so much I ordered it in an extra small because I wanna wear it the right way and it will be coming with me to Japan. Now the skirt is the Barker Tinted Denim Micro Mini Skirt in a size medium as well. With jean skirts, I always size up because most jean skirts don't have a decent stretch to them and I've learned that the hard way one too many times. But I will say, even though the medium does fit me fine, it isn't as tight and doesn't feel as secure as I wish it was. And I think a size small would have fit me better. Usually my size up predictions are pretty on point, but of course, with my favorite outfit, they had to be a little bit off. I won't reorder the skirt in a different size because I truly think I can make this work. And I think it makes the length a little bit more appropriate as well. And with these added accessories, I am absolutely in love. I do want to probably add a silver pendant necklace of some sort to this as well, but I'll have to go get that at a later time because I just have mainly dainty jewelry. But this is my favorite outfit in all its glory and it's giving Bratz Rock Angels vibes in the best way. The next fit we have is a matching set, the soft energy sweater short set in the color stone which I really, really am liking this color. What drew me to this set is the jacket, which I have styled to here alone, but the set itself isn't bad either, and I'll be showing that as well. The material is very soft and it does run true to size. If I were to wear the full set though, it'd be more of an at-home outfit, but the jacket itself is amazing on its own. The fit is perfect, it's soft, it has a nice stretch. You can wear it with a tank or cami underneath or wear it like I am right now in this video with just a jacket on as its own top. This is the perfect crop jacket and I'm so happy I found it. I remember when I was watching Jennifer's Body a while ago and Megan Fox in the film was wearing a lot of these crop jackets and I couldn't find a similar vibe literally anywhere. Like all the crop jackets were like sporty kind of themed you know what I mean? Like they were like athleisure and I, 
I didn't want that. I wanted something like this and I'm so happy I found it. I'm wearing a size small. I feel like I'd be able to size down because of the stretch, but I'm happy I stuck with the true to size on this one. So if I wanted to wear something underneath the jacket, I'd be able to. Same thing goes for this next crop jacket. It's also a part of a set, but the thing with this one is, is that even though the striped and coloring is so fun, the bottoms on this one were very awkward and not worth wearing at all. But I did choose this set for the jacket specifically, so I'm not too upset. This is the Nicole sweater short set, and the color and design reminds me so, so much of the clothing I had growing up. And I think that's why I was so drawn to this set specifically. I'm wearing a size small, and it isn't as soft or stretchy as the last set, but it still fits true to size. The one thing I wish was different was the circular zipper thingy we got going on, and that's if I'm trying to be nitpicky. It's not a big deal at all. I do love these two jackets though, and I'm so happy I found them. What did you guys think? Were the outfits kind of cute? Please be nice, even if you say no. Just be nice about it. You know what I'm saying? Very sensitive gal. I had a lot of fun putting these outfits together, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. This was more of a lookbook rather than just a haul because I really tried to put these outfits together as if I was getting ready to leave the house in them. So let me know if you guys like this style of video. I'm going to Japan in less than a month. I can't believe I'm actually saying that. If you have any videos that you guys wanna see from me before I leave or while I'm in Japan, definitely let me know down in the comments below. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also check out my merch, bonfire.com slash Elizabeth Zacks. Everybody who has gotten in their merch says that they absolutely love it. So I'm super excited for you guys to get yours as well. Thank you so, so much again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. I swear I am a cat hair magnet.